made a name for itself over the years as a hotbed of corrupt conduct and the latest investigation shows things are only getting worse. This year was the biggest of all of them. Charges have been recommended against 33 Railcorp employees who awarded contracts worth $19 million to their own companies or those belonging to family or friends, like Christian Hansen, who's accused of running a trucking business from this home and netting $319,000, or Renee Hughes, who earned half a million dollars by fraudulently changing the value of contracts. The ICAC commissioner says there are more than just a few bad apples at Railcorp. I think people in New South Wales have got to view the matter very seriously, as does the commission. If Mr Cripps has got recommendations, uh, then I am all ears. Uh, this is a this is a rot that has to stop. He has 40 recommendations that the Transport Minister claims Railcorp is already introducing. Clear message here that you cannot afford to take your eye off the ball. But the eye has been off the ball for some time. This investigation into corruption within Railcorp is the seventh in 16 years. There were six separate inquiries into Railcorp for this very sort of thing we're talking about in this inquiry and nothing happened. If this government thought corruption was a problem, they would have acted years ago, but clearly they had the stomach for this kind of activity. The Director of Public Prosecutions will now consider whether charges will be laid against the 33 Railcorp workers. Josh Murphy, 10 years.